Here we go. Oh, it has been a hot moment since I have played a PC game. So let's let's see how this goes. This is going to be horrendous. All right, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome, every everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B and stream today on this fine twenty seventh of March, twenty twenty three. I hope you have had a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you because for me, I've had a pretty wonderful week, although uh, weather-wise, it's been super dismal, super glummy in Sydney. Uh, it's fine when it rains a little bit. It's at that point where it's raining a, a fair bit, but not enough that you'd cancel stuff because it's raining too much. Or not cancel stuff, but like, go, ah, yes, it's very wet outside. It's like, ah, uh, it's in the pretty wet like I wouldn't want to stand outside you know what I mean weather it gets muggy and I don't like it when it's too bad I'm okay with a bit bit a little bit of sprinkle don't blare it down on me Sydney's horrendous for that so uh but yeah this week we've got a lot of interesting stuff but I think for now how about let's do okay this one's gonna be a weird one this is a PC game I'm gonna have to do a real interesting kind of swoop to make sure this works so uh I'm going to start up a Harry Potter TM. I'm going to now switch over. And we're going to hope that this... I don't think it's going to get the initial window. It's got the EA Games logo right now. But it is probably going to kick in... During this Warner Brothers logo. There it is. Look at this amazing entertainment game. And here we are. Harry Potter. And the Philosopher's Stone. Trademark. We finally have a game with philosophers in the name. Uh... This is a really cheap, not cheap, but like, this is an image. It's got a bunch of stuff at the bottom. Uh, but this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the, um, PC. And to me, I would always imagine, oh, the PC version would just be, like, an upscaled version of, like, the PlayStation version or some console version. It seems strange to me that not only is this game different, but also, perhaps, the best? The actual best out of all- I've realized we're picking the mic a bit. But this actually might be the best out of the game so far. Um, so, hold on, let me... I'm gonna hope that someone's giving me a good mic check. Hold on, I'm gonna tap back in just so I've got a good mic check right here. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm doing a Tay moment. Okay, <laughs> whoa, I... I realized, I realized, I was like, oh, I should listen back to myself to make sure that the audio is coming through nicely because I changed something about the setup. There's no sound anymore. There's that. You get, you get that. So anyway, let's click start. Um, I keep starting new games. I would like to click on this and replace the game. Let's start off. Yes. Okay. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things... Now, I guess there is a lot of overlap between this and the PlayStation 1 version because they are... They share a lot of audio assets. So, there might be a lot of voice lines, including this whole sequence, which is exactly in the PS1 version. So, uh... On the surface, that does seem like, oh, maybe it is the same game. But trust me, I played 20 minutes of this, and then I went, nah, this is different. This is definitely different. Um, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Does this guy who's doing this voice, does he the appear in the film years, in any way? With his dreadful the He's got that, that wonderful, like, audiobook voice. He could, he could be Until the voice of, like, any villain day, in this, in this series. He received the letter, he received the letter to dooming him to attend Hogwarts. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley. To purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While a visit bank, what, Hagrid it, it, I mean, kids kids buy like pencils and Mention stuff Harry, and paper for school. Whatever it was, would be safer. Like a wand course. doesn't seem too far off. It's a little weird. I never bought a wand for school, Harry but like I bought a laptop, that's kinda close enough. Nine and three quarters. And left the Muggle world far behind. All of these games just kind of assume the platform. Actually, the Game Boy Color one didn't. But Dumbledore like, it just up. assumed platform nine and three quarters as well. The so on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Also, what do you mean? Previous terms were fine going to the third floor, out. that forbidden he corridor. That he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. 
not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. Capital H hat. What it's font is this? Is this actually like Times New Roman? No, it's not. And Slytherin will but it must be a fairly generic font this. because, you know, like all good PC games, it's kind of just using no. some raw font. Well, so, uh, sure. Better be. Better be. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. And that was a p anxious, you know, go. Oh. Also, the loading screen is going to be tremendously quick. Um, but this game's got a wonderful aesthetic of the Unreal 1 engine. Uh, for those who do not know, uh, the Unreal 1 engine, used for Unreal Tournament and uh, later Deus Ex, was used in this year, the same, sorry, this game in the same year as Deus Ex. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, it's got some sick shades, is though. full of secrets, Harry. So, search behind every door, but keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. No mouths, though. Oh, and he's got morning, weird claw fingers. I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Oh gosh, he really does sound like he's pooping. Oh, the poor guy. So, uh, this game is... I, I might have alluded to it being a shooter, but it's not quite. Also, you're going to see me absolutely struggle with the camera, because I'm going to move the mouse up like a millimeter. I'm going to move it down two millimeters. You're basically aiming in, like, four directions. So, uh, every time you start walking, it fixes itself. So, I'm kind of going to, you know, take it like that. Uh... Also, there is no strafing in this game. You just kind of turn. And uh, that might make the combat a little stilted. Uh, but you're going to see me try my best. Uh, turning is also still kind of bound by that. But yeah, you're going to see me try my best to beat this. Uh, Harry can also point at things. This is a big guess where your cursor is facing. Uh, especially when you can just aim up and down without moving the camera up with his... But... Initially, yes, this does kind of look like the same game. Your first lesson is upstairs on the third floor, Mr. Potter. Wow, he's really poopy today. He is really poopy today. Um, but one thing I really liked just at the beginning of this game was how just naturally it goes. There is no open world. It's just levels. You just go for it. Fred and George have something to show you. What's up, Fob? How are you doing? I get to finally draw the, the Fulpendo as well in like five minutes. Follow me, Harry. Oh. <laughs> Ron had to second guess that one. Um, but yeah, will I get every secret? I don't know. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. Uh, the as stairs. a fashion, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. Ron's got I'll that resting you face. The against the dark arts class. Good luck, Harry. You're not going to teach your brother Ron about the secret passage? I love how you just go in for it as well. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above Real life advice, by the way. Bertie bots every flavor bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. So I'm curious how many, like, random secrets are as well, because I'm just thinking like, oh... They're not going to let you walk out. Nope. No siree, so... We're going to have to climb our way up. Uh, but yeah, I'm running this game fairly pure. Uh, to play this game nowadays, you'll probably need to find a version on a... Cough, cough, my abandonware. Or any other website that you find discs. But also, you'll need to install a no-CD crack, because it uses uh, Sekirom. Just does not work on Windows 11. You'll see logs in the event viewer basically saying, yeah, no, it's not working. Um, and then, uh, I'm running with DG Voodoo. Now, There's a direct, uh, the 3D 11 renderer that might work. I couldn't seem to get down, it to work for some reason. It just would never invoke. It would always rely on the, the, the raw room. direct 3D we'll take the adapter of Unreal. Which is fine, because, uh, yeah, you can just do what I'm doing right here, which is, um, uh, using DG Voodoo. HP speedrun Discord as install guys for... Yeah, oh, I should have just relied on that, but... I'm having a good time. DG Voodoo is always my bread and butter. If I can't get something to work, I can usually get DG Voodoo to do it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's running fairly fine in this one. Um, even for some odd reason, I struggled to get the mouse working yesterday and today, it's fine. So I shall accept that because it's doing all right. Uh, okay, so there's nothing down below. I 
Also, uh, yeah, I, I got about halfway through, uh, or sorry, half an hour into this game, and then I started getting very paranoid about secrets and other kinds of things, so... They're gonna tell me off for falling, because I didn't fall. Yep, collect the beans. Also, jumping. Ah! I love this just bizarre That's jump scare. He's always causing Who trouble. asked for the, for the jump scare? Like for I appreciate so it. Watch your, step. watch your step in it. Other than that, yeah, I guess it is a lot of the same music. Fair enough, to be honest. He's got a scar on his forehead. Scars are ugly. Just want to get... Also, the audio is skipping, so, uh... Whoops. But sure, okay. Listen, we'll deal with it. Easy. Oh my gosh, there's emotes for him. Is, also, yeah, yeah, when when I tried this, he keeps laughing in my ear for the rest of the map. Does he keep laughing all the time, or is he supposed to, like, drown out? We're collecting the beans. Dude, imagine not being able to get to class because you can't find beans. Just buy some, bro. But, uh, I also love these little, like, placements for beans, but I kind of like just the way this game presented itself to just start off. You gotta, you know, jump around, collect beans, haven't even casted a spell yet. But it's just all about, like, doing some platforming and collecting beans. Still with all the Harry Potter, you know, kind of aesthetic around you. Yeah, he's just going to be perpetually laughing in my ear, but... Yeah, I... I, I don't know. I, I feel nostalgic for something I've never even played before. It's more that, like, this is how I think early Harry Potter was. And then I played two other Harry Potter 1 games and neither of... Well, you know, they didn't quite capture it other than PS1 Hagrid. But, like, this is, like, this is what I feel. Fred. He's the one with the wizard card. Oh, okay. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. So. We need the beans for some... We'll see how we go. ...experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You're just you gonna eat it? the beans. Or do they know what flavors the beans are? Oh, my goodness. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. One day I'll play Unreal on, uh, on this channel. And, uh... Yeah, I, I feel like it, you'll... I love this period of games where it's like the engine was very, very direct in like how a game was presented. Like, we got this pause menu and it's just like all of these options are very like Unreal style. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you get this little menu where you can look at your, your cards, which is kind of cool. And this text is kind of tiny, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, interestingly, this game doesn't have like quick saving or anything. You just kind of play it and go. Um, I think if you die, you go back to the beginning of a checkpoint. There are checkpoint books. Uh, throughout the game. Oh. <laughs> Look at these guys no casually come up the stairs. This isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. <laughs> these are my fellow students. These are my fellow students. Very excited about them. Actually, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. I like how this kid only cares. Oh my gosh, he's got an emoji as well. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. I love how he cares about just the house cup. Oh, you got Filch over there. Hold on, I want to say hi to Filch. Like, he's just here, because, like, this is just a linear map. But if, if you design it in a fun way, it feels like you're, you know, you're delving through through the castle. And I think that's this beauty of uh, linear games. Is that it doesn't actually matter too much that I'm not actually exploring around. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? On the Hogwarts... I, yeah, I remember that. Is through this door. <laughs> it's a Phil Gmo. This is so good. I love how Hermione's got a bag as well. When has she ever had a bag? Just not gonna sit with her. She's got cooties. Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Flipendo spell. With the Nintendo spell. Alright, so this is the other fun part of the game. It tells you how to draw things, and you've got to actually try and trace it with your mouse while dealing with some ridiculous mouse acceleration. So I'm going to try my best. Don't yell at me if I don't get all the way. Listen, I bought a new mouse like a week ago. 
So, it's not too hard to start off with. You just gotta get whatever 50% is. But at some point, you gotta get, uh, was it, 75? Se no, 70, then 80 percent and then 95 percent or something like that we'll, figure, we'll see it in a moment let's see what you can do so you gotta do the same drawing four times but <laughs> 65 okay uh there is also a special line of dialogue if you somehow get a hundred i know of that and I, I really like that, how it's like, you know, change a bit of behavior somewhere, and suddenly there's a whole different line of dialogue. It makes you feel like you've accomplished something much more special, because they've like, oh, they put in the effort. Oh, I think I've gone out of bounds a bit. Oh, now definitely. Oh, this is horrendous. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're fine, but... Listen, I got 97 before. I can well, do 95. Done, Mr. Well, we'll see how we do. 15 points for the Gryffindor. Try again, Mr. Potter. <laughs> that's that's the line. All right, this was pretty good. This is pretty good. I'm a god! I'm a god! I did it! Remarkable, Mr. P Potter. A perfect spell. I'm I'm so glad you remember that line. It's so good. Gryffindor. You don't get any more points for the perfect, I think, but I kinda like this. It's just like go through the game, get a score! You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P P Potter. Mr. P -p 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 Potter? I'm making fun of his accent, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to do that these days. Uh, yeah, the loading screens are gonna be just like whoosh. To aim the flipendo spell. Ah, okay, you watch, you watch so many runs of this game. Cast the spell. To be honest, that's, you know. I'd watch games that I love as well, so. Uh, so how to cast spells? You click the left mouse, and you kind of aim it, and you just target the thing that you want to flipendo. And then he just goes for it. Um, and uh, this is when we get into these whole, like, these challenge sections involving the spells. Mostly Norwegian, not English, though. Ah! Does that mean I'm the first Australian that you've ever seen play the game? I love this bridge here because uh, it comes into importance in, like, two minutes. Also, everyone's, like, shortcuts all over the place. At the switch on the wall to open the door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P knock it over. I hate cal c c cauldrons. So, uh, yeah, knocking over cauldrons, and they always have beans in them, which you could just reach in and grab the beans. But no, I hate cauldrons. English is just slower. Ah, uh, fair, fair enough. I wonder if I talk fast enough that it's not actually as bad. But, who knows. English is not a very fast language though, is it? Like, it takes a while to articulate certain things. Also, yeah, gold stars. What is this, the Talos Principle? When there refers to a new game, you could make fun of an old game. I'm not even making that much fun of it, because I'm, I'm having a good time already. 20 minutes, looking, looking fancy for Pendo, but... What? But I like this level design. We just kind of wander around, and suddenly it's like, ah, we turned the bridge, and now we can go this this last way. And it's all platforming as well. Like you got to do these fun jumps, and then if you jump to the side, you kind of woes sometimes. Oh my gosh! Ah. Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor House Ghost. Okay. Sure. Now, this is a save game book. Ooh. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. Mm. The game will restart from this point if you faint. Faint? You can also Fainting. load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
He barely explains it, but that's all you need. So you touch touch the save, and it's basically just an Unreal Engine save. Um, which, alas, it means that, yeah, quick saving is not a thing, but it's also like, well, you need quick saving. Also, a lot of times I hit these switches, and it's like there's two switches. There's a barred gate, and then there's the actual door. And I always open the door first. Very interesting. I love these corridors. They're very, like, unreal. The, um, the, uh, the PlayStation 1 game, and I guess, like, this is the fun part, is that now we got another, you know, 3D platformer, or a 3D game of some kind. So you get to immediately compare what's the level design in the PlayStation 1 game, what's the level design in this PC game. This game is, so far, rather claustrophobic, but also the levels feel so much larger. And the camera's gonna be kind of jittery because... Listen, I didn't install the mouse fix. Is the mouse fix allowed for speedruns? Certain games are, like, people are okay with, like, running with mods and some of them are just like, nah. Half-Life's a weird one? I've, I've tried running Half-Life. And it's just like, you need a specific, like, set of mods, just full stop. They don't let you play with without the mods. Cast your which is rather interesting, but, block yeah, I get it. Knock it out of the way. I also love seeing the symbol everywhere. And yeah, you don't have to draw it all the time. You just, you know, you just click on things and then uh, you cast it. Keeps the job done, though. Like, I don't want to be drawing the spells all the time. I love you get that wonderful, like, near-plane map mapping going on as well. It's just a thing the Unreal Engine did. Uh, die, pottery! I uh, get it, cause, cause Harry Potter hates bots. So many pots all over the place. There's a lot of spooky ghosts as well. And also, hold on, I just want to add this. Harry can fall into the void. Or uh, stand on the void. And you can look through him as well. And now he's dead. Now he's gone. And that just loads the, the quick save. <laughs> I love the fact that there's the void. Just the abyss of, of nothingness there. As well as also a very interesting jump. But yeah, this is, uh, this is cool. I like this. This is very, like, just neat. And something where it's like... I don't know, like, I've got zero nostalgia for this. This is bizarre to me. Because I've never played this game. I've watched maybe a speedrun ages ago. Uh, there's some there's some wonderful things you can do in speedruns. Um, but I think it's the fact that like it's an environment that I'm very familiar with, which is you know, Hogwarts. I've played some other Harry Potter games. I have um, in particular as well, like you know, this music that dun, 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 dun. like that that's a you know Customary to me. Familiar. And then, uh... Without any checkpoint, you just gotta rock the next bit of platforming, but... Amazingly, it's actually not as rough as I'd expect. Because you get to grab the ledges as well. There's a lot of leeway for, for grabbing stuff, so... And I love how, like, this is the second map. This is... We're 24 minutes in. This is... this is what they expect. The only thing is the camera doesn't follow you when you're doing these jumps. There we go. Oh. Let's, uh, let's try getting it. Oh. I hate pots. So, uh... I think... the... And correct me if I'm wrong, I th the only thing I know that the beans actually do is if you can get every single gold... Oh, sorry. Not every gold star, but if you can get every card as an all 24 and uh, 250 beans, you are awarded um, a 25th card, which would be the, uh, the special Harry Potter card that they seem to give at the end of the other games. So, yep. He's going to say Flipendo every time. Not. Chop it. There we go. Look at these stars they're hiding all over the place. So tell me as well if I'm gonna miss, like, something. Because I would like to, you know, be like, Ah, yes, I will grab this. And, and no quick saving. I can't quick save scum. Which means if I kind of miss it, and I run into a book, 
Whoops, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not here to show off everything. I'm here to experience the game. And I guess uh, if you're a new time viewer or a old time viewer and just want a, uh, another reminder, because I haven't mentioned it. Uh, I've come out of just playing uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PlayStation 1 and the Game Boy Color. And now I'm doing this as the third and final game that I would like to play of this bunch. I know there's two more. There's a Game Boy Advance one and a PlayStation 2 version of the game. And, <laughs> and all five of these are different games, which is uh, a very incredible thing. Um, but I wanted to kind of show this as like a, you know, like a, hey, the same released game can have different this versions all over the place. Mr. Oh, he's not a Gnodlin. Like to pester young wizards. He's not a Gnelf. Him on his backside to complete the challenge. Here's the thing, you want to you want to be careful because be these guys knock nuisance. your beans and they eat your beans. <laughs> but they they just fall over once and then that's it. They're just standing there. Can I, can I like lure him out? I can't even. Oh, I just realized he's right there on my tail. Get him off! <laughs> just, just lock on, bro. Did he really hide behind the? Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, well, minimal bean loss. Is the 250 beans a perfect count? I worry it is, but. We'll see. But yeah, like, immediately off the bat, it's like, I gotta deal with gnomes, I gotta deal with, like, platforming and bottomless voids. Um, but also on top of that, like, the models and textures are just way better. I know it's 2001 PC, you know, games, although you can software render this game, and it still looks decently fine. Um, but it's just the fact that, like, Congratulations, Mr. you know, Potter. it looks you great. Completed the challenge at 1024 by 768. Collected all the challenge stars. Twenty points for Gryffindor. Now hurry on to broomstick practice. Broomstick practice. Oh, back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. <laughs> yeah, there, was, there was a bank heist where, where Harry Since went Harry like a bit ago. But, uh, their flying lesson. You know, flying class is more important. To be honest, when I'm at school, it's just like, hey, you know, class, man. I am your instructor, Madam Hooch. Oh, she's just, lesson, you just fly mounted on that broom. Rooms. So the flying is a little keys. bit more awkward because uh, you gotta, well... The speed up and slow down. Oh, so the mouse control isn't amazing speed. in this game, and uh, in fact, I don't think you can move up and down with the mouse. So you've just gotta, you just gotta wing it. On my whistle, then. You gotta. But I've beaten Superman 64, so this is no sweat for me. So uh, other than that, you can you know fly in four directions and uh, speed up and slow down. So you're gonna see me kind of zooming along because. Uh, now let's see how you do with smaller wings. <laughs> this seemed. This was. Uh, I mean, this seems fairly straightforward, but the moment they add, like, verticality, it's like, oh, now we're gonna, like, judge where I am in 3D space really well. Harry is somewhat along the ground, but, uh, yeah, you can't see where the ground is, can you? Oh, and then you miss one, and then you're like, up, gotta, gotta go back. And then Madam Hooch tells you off for not going into the next hoop, or not seeing the next hoop. Uh, but you also need a bit of wiggle room when you're at the the back end of time. How do I phrase that? Uh, you need a bit of extra time when you're near the end of the rings. These are challenging rings, apparently. They are kind of challenging, but you can kind of brush them with, like, the ends of Harry's hair, and it works. But this is what I mean, like, this is, like, fairly more just... involved? It's about the same, but as the, uh, as the Argonaut PS1 game. But I do like this, like, I mean, this room is a lot bigger, it feels like you're dodging and weaving through architecture a lot more, which is kind of the whole gist of, uh, the scene, anyways, in the film where Harry starts chasing, um, Malfoy for the Rememberall. <laughs> so you get to run into walls and just kathunk. Also, yes, it is Superman 64, the rings are moving up and down. Oh, Superman 64. How I would love to share my adventures with that game, I'll tell you that. 
Okay, looks like time is running out, but I've got plenty of time to go through just about 10 more rings. But yeah, this is the bait. This is the bit. I thought I was like just about to clear it in time, and I go through this, and suddenly... Oh, no. Uh, I wanna get it? Okay. Oh, am I actually about to run out of time? Oh my gosh. I did run out of time. A skillful display, Mr. Oh, Potter. Well. Oh well. points for Gryffindor. Is she gonna comment about the I secret room? Yeah, there it goes. You for being the first student to find the secret room since 1867. I botched it up. Now on you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. I should really try that out later. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. Good day. If it was a good day, I'd still be asleep. Hello. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learned on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. It will open magically locked things, but don't get into any mischief. Ooh, ooh. This is the symbol Now, this, this is the most amazing the part of the game. It's like, oh, okay, I gotta learn a new spell, so I gotta draw the, the pattern again. It's a harder pattern, so, uh, trust me to get it wrong. You gotta draw more curves, or like, you know, you gotta go around and get back up to the top. Um, I got a 98 though, that's pretty good. Oh, also, Harry is so yeah, into this. every You're spell he casts. This, Probably Harry. catching up for the lack of spells Great, he casts in the movie. I'm sure Professor Flitwick um, would give you but yeah, so the whole point is, and I love this, I'm sure Professor Flitwick would give you five house points, and I'm just getting the house points. It's like, oh, okay. How does that work? Oh, I didn't get to the end. That's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I love... I'm loving this comparison between these games because they are all different. And they're weirdly all kind of attempting to do the same thing, but they differ in parts because all of them are kind of beating the film. They, they all came out in development before the film was fully finished, so... A lot of these licensed games don't exactly have the knowledge of how to make the game line up with the film. There are some games, like GoldenEye, or, uh, there's another one probably out there, where it's like, you know, the game is made significantly after the film, they've got plenty of time to, you know, make the game line up. But these ones, for example, and I think a lot of games from the 2000s and the very late 90s, are gonna have that thing where it's like they just tie in with the film. They gotta come out at the same time and maybe made on a quicker schedule. Oh no, that went really out. Oh, that went really out as well. I don't think I got it. I don't think I got it. Oh yeah, that's dreadful. Ugh. Shaking my shaking my head. Judging me so hard, so But yeah, she gives house points? Okay. Now you try using Alhamora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alhamora. How can you tell it's magically locked? It's a key. It's just to use a key. I love these people chilling. Hello, Harry. Hello. Have a good day. Have you met Hagrid? He's so large, I can scarcely see the top of his head. Well, we can just chat to these people as well. But important to note, he's a. Uh, these statues just spit out so many beans. It's not an infinite number. It's just four. Weird number. But yeah, all of these games, they're all different. And they're all kind of neat in their own ways. Some of them you'll have nostalgia for. Uh, some of them will have more hurdles than others. I think the, uh, the Game Boy game, unfortunately for me, uh, was a bit of a hurdle in some places. It's just kind of interesting just seeing this. Also, yeah, this is why I've got trust issues now, because suddenly everything is a lock. And this is just for one beam. Or is it? It's for a lot of beans. Look how many beans they put back here. So many beans. And then I thought, oh, okay, now time to go in the door. Oh, wait. 
this bookshelf is alamorable. Oh, wherever. Come on, come on. There you go. I found a secret area behind a bookcase today. Uh, thanks, bro. Thanks. <laughs> I literally just saw that. And the chests have to be, you know, alamored. It's like everything is alamored at this point. So many beans. But yeah, I, I was just like, oh my gosh, there's gonna be secrets everywhere. I don't think there was anything else, like, hidden right here. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Oh, okay. Alright, see you, Hermione. Oh, no, thanks. You've got it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? Two secrets. Okay, you are my secret. That's a bit weird. Creepy. Oh, you've only got one, one thing on you. I love how the cards are different visually from the outside as well. It's definitely a very nice touch. But yeah, I'm still, I'm loving the presentation, I'm loving just having the music kick in. Maybe it's not going to be perfect once I get into the, the nidia parts of the game. Oh, we got an Unreal mirror! I know Deus Ex starts off with a mirror, and uh, yourself, Harry, the, um, the original Unreal has a chest. reflective floor when you start off. But I love this mirror other than Harry kind of disappears from some angles if he's a bit too close. But it's like, I mean that's, it's as easy as just render the room twice. That's the easiest form of mirror and it works because the rendering is simple enough. More games need mirrors, I tell ya. And then we go into like this room and it's like, oh no, we got another painting with a secret in it. You can open the mirror. Oh, you can open the mirror. I'll go back for it in a moment. I thought there would be a secret there. You just gotta... Ah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. It was really... Ooh. Does that mean I am a frog? Is that, is that what that means? That's good fun. It's a mystical mirror right there. Uh, yes I did. And I got the card. And then I couldn't cast uh, uh, on the night anymore. I love that sound effect. I thought the door is perpetually locked. I mean, you've got a book in front of you, Miney. What's the phrase? Throw the book at her? Is that a political term? I don't know. That pot is, uh, floating. Okay. And then this is what I love, the fact that Hermione is like, Prof Professor Flitwick would be so proud of you for learning this thing, and then Professor Flitwick just teaches you a different spell entirely. Observe the correct Wingardium Leviosa symbol. When I stop, hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern. Massive W for this move right here. Can I draw diagonal lines? The answer is perhaps. I actually struggle with like where the the points of the oh that's gonna be terrible on the right. But, like where the points of the W stop. Like this isn't gonna be this is not close to ninety something percent. Which means work, I'm doing Potter, something wrong here. I'm not too sure what I'm doing to wrong. Improve. Five points for Griffin. But I got five points, so that's Let's all that matters. Continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. So like, I thought, oh, maybe I gotta go really, like, to the bottom of the W? Is, is that, is that what I gotta do? That's pretty good, that's pretty good. It's not quite there at 95, but we'll get there. A dazzling effort, Mr. Potter. I assume you learn fewer spells as you go through the game, as well. Try going slightly faster this time. You have to tell me off for going too slow. Bro. I was gonna make a short comment. Don't wanna be insensitive, you know. Can I make a bold comment? 93! 93! How do I get 95? Most impressive. How do I get 95? Ooh. 15 points for Gryffindor. 
Try going slightly faster this time. All right, this is the challenge. This is the true test. Did I get it? Whoa. That is disappointing. <laughs> That was so How disappointing. Unfortunate. You nearly had it that time, Mr. Potter. What is wrong with my W's? What is wrong with them? <laughs> you may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge. Bro, if you get zero, what what does he do? Follow me. <laughs> like uh, you fail Hogwarts Harry. He just walked he didn't even drop off those books. He just he just walked straight off into space. Wingardium Leviosa on that statue, then move it onto that large plate. How cool. Oh yeah, I, I, I remember trying this out. So you can move the block and you just move it with the arrow keys. I tried doing this. It unfortunately doesn't do anything, but perhaps there is something because actually it doesn't even push him at all. He's invincible. I played Port, I know how this works. Now go and collect the challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Good luck, Mr. Potter. Good luck, Mr. Potter. And again, I love how you get introduced to these, like, kind of large rooms, and that's what the Unreal Engine is great at. These, like, just bizarre snaking environments full of rooms. I guess, uh, we haven't gotten into any caves yet, but... Oh. Oh my gosh. The gnomes. Get him. Oh, everyone hates gnomes. They just sit on their butts like once you've dealt once you've dealt with them as well. So I'm I'm gonna hope there's no like just tap the random wall secrets. I hope that I'm able to at least see, you know, that there's an object somewhere. You know what I mean? Uh, but should be alright. Look at that, I got a star already. A star is born, and that star is me, apparently. Lots of stuff. If you leave them down to life, you can bait them to fall into the void. Like later on, or because there's a void later on, or. Greetings, Blub, how's it going? <laughs> you won't believe it, Blub. I am playing Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Haven't played that game at all. Which technically is true, but also not true. So. But yeah, this will be the uh, the last of the three games, and I, I, I don't know. I might return to them later. My brain doesn't think the Game Boy Advance game is going to be that interesting to watch and play through. And the PS2 game might, but... But I feel like this one is a kind of special one that I'm going to, you know, leave at the end, or leave leave as a special one. I'm not a knight. There we go. Oh, always oh, spat them out the sides. The cheeky. H1 GBA run is two minutes long. Are they doing any weird, like, sequence breaking for that, or is it, like, legitimately, like, you can just trigger endgame s- Oh, probably not, but... Oh my gosh. Get him out of here. Oh, 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 he's sneaking, he's sneaking. There we go. Uh, they left the endgame trigger around- Oh, the music is great. And a lot of the music is in the, the PS1 version, but it's great kind of just hearing it again, and uh, perhaps in a little little more quality. Uh, hope that's on the button. Oh, that is. Cool. And I opened the door first again. Oh, you can't Leviosa too far away. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Guardian Livia is getting very tired of saying the spell name all the time. Harry, it's just the way you draw the wand, you don't have to say it out loud. So I'm curious if there's like any like fun little secrets around here. You know, maybe if it's like, oh, I'll push the column back. Probably not. Not that I can see. I can't see any bonuses in this room, so call it there. Okay. Ronald Weasley, it's Levio Saar. That is true. Now, I love this. It's like... 
This is, this is like, okay, this is peak Unreal. When it's like, you get given sight of a massive room, and then it's like, well... Uh, for a few floors, and it's just the void. Harry's just like, you know, I'm s sick and tired of this world. Tommy was on. Accent is horrendous, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a sound and a half. Amazing. But I, I love, it's just like, ah oh yes, here's your Wingardium Leviosa class. You're just looking at this like, croc level design going like, what's going on here bro? There's a platform way out there, and it only makes sense in like a few minutes. Also, I love this. We've got real mirror reflections, almost. Harry's feet are sometimes visible. That is a real reflection, again. They're rendering the room twice down there. And there's a star up there, and okay, this is... How do I get that star? I stopped. Okay, for reference, I played this game just to like demo that it was working on the, on the PC and capturing right. Um, and uh, I stopped after this Wingardium Leviosa trial. And uh, Professor Flitwick told me I didn't get all the stars. And uh, I think that is probably it. But the question is how do I get up there? That's up. So. I've got this block here, maybe this circles around. Oh, okay. No, it's not on the button. Now it is. That opens a side room. Look at these wonderful secrets. What is this? This is like... an amazing, like, game. Oh, it's the mirror. It was the mirror the whole time. I should have known. I took your, your tip to heart. It's a mirror, therefore it's not real. Mir how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? This is... I will say, this is incredible that, like, this game is... so much more fluid. Because the PS1 game just had... Oh, really? One, two, and three. Two best. Three almost as good, and one is a good prototype. Even then, like... This works. This is like... I've got nothing to really, like, complain about. Other than, like, it's a bit of a pain to run, <laughs> because, uh, uh, you know, you, you gotta install no CD crack in order to get it working on a new computer. Not a pain to run, more, more so that, like, I would like it if games just worked out of the box. And I know it's a lot trickier nowadays, and especially with games running, you know, older direct 3D interfaces that are just not implemented as well anymore. Well, let's hit both of these. All oh, the cards there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I'm almost at 250... Well, 125 as well. That feels special, though. The cards just... You got them so quick in the, the PS1 game. But here it's like... Oh, look at that. This is all these... All these beans. It's amazingly... Good stuff. Okay, and then I moved the platform so I can now come back across here and Professor Flitwick will tell me I've done a great job and I won't feel like I'm a failure in life because my, my teachers, I love that, I don't know, you ever had that feeling in school where it's like, not, wow, this this, seem, this seems very personal, I had that feeling in school where it's like I, I sought like validation from the teachers in, in the sense of like, I want them to just say I've done a good job and I hate it when they tell me I've done a bad job or they're critical of me in some way. Or I've uh, pulled pranks on them and they're like, oh, how could you do that, Blundo? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know any better. I'm like a five-year-old kid. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Nowadays, it seems a bit trivial. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. Bro, they gave You've him a table. all the challenge stars. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now, off you go. Off you go. Whoa, it just walks right off again. No, don't lock me in here. Where is he going? He can't even jump. Alright, we got a bookshelf here, but that is not a magical bookshelf. Or a magical table. Or a magical anything beyond the block. And off he goes. It is tremendous that he just walks like that. I haven't pressed the button. I didn't press the button. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? I did not press the button. The real magic of the game. <laughs> I 
I just looked at the button and it was like, yeah, good enough. So th at this point, I stopped. I, I have not seen the game from here on out. Oh my gosh. Bird. Harry, look for bonuses in the trees. I'm winning at the greenhouse. Oh, the fa- Hey, I'm a, I'm a real speedrunner. I'm a real speedrunner. Listen, how am I doing on speedrun time? I'm 50 minutes in. I will say, like, sometimes I always feel like I, I have, like, some days where it's like, just time goes so quick. Like, I just blink and suddenly it's like, oh, it's been an hour. And, like, this game is like, bro, it's been 50 minutes already? I bet you. I bet you. Every time. Every time. The mirror's all the way. all the way from Oh, so, like... Oh, it's, it's on my head. There we go. Whoosh. I feel so cool to just, like, you know... That's a reward for a secret. And then you just go on this screen and see that Slytherin's beating your butt. And it's like, oh, you can look at them like this. 1981, geez. Are all these people... <laughs> Me. Are all these people dead? Dumbledore. <laughs> Spoilers, I guess. Also, I love the floating candles. You can get away with it. Smelly frog. Oh, peeps, boss. Oh. Get him out of here. I don't want him. Oh my gosh. And now I'm in strafe mode. I mean, they do. Oh, he's, he throws things at you. What? Why am I getting attacked by a ghost? Why, where, what did I do to deserve this? He just, he's T-posing out of the room! He just t That's some dominance right there. Any other fun little secrets? Or no, that's uh... Because it looks like there's some other exits here, but like... That just looks like a dead-end room, even if I could go in it. That doesn't have anything, like, hiding behind the bookshelf, and this is another dead-end room, so... Interesting layout, but you know what? I'll accept it. But, like, you're <laughs> a wizard, Addy! <laughs> Look at all these... children... Oh, my gosh! Hey, Harry! Do you have 25 beans for us? We need the beans for some... <clears throat> experiments. Uh, sure, nice yeah. work, Harry. You found all the beans oh, so they're going to tell me off for Here's not getting beans. Hope you don't have this one yet. Think about it. The jumpers say, um, out, field goal. FG. They always got to say F and G as well. Can't be G and F. There we go. So that's what, card number six? Quarter of the way through the game already. Easy. Oh my gosh, Hedwig, hi, how you doing? Okay. Harry, if you live in a homology lesson, Gryffindor can lose house points. Oh my gosh. I shall uh, proceed to not follow where the kids are going. This is a developer. This is a developer. Hands down, that is just one of the developers. I tell you, I'm, I'm getting anxious about just like, where could they be hiding these secrets? This... This bench is a secret. Hi. Hey, Potter. Do you like surprises? Malcolm ah, that hit nice. Here. You better watch your step around here, Potter. Potter. Slytherins <laughs> don't like Gryffindors. Yeah, I kind of gathered that. No, there was a picture back there. So I guess there's a question. Am I... Oh, that was a bizarre freeze. I think I've heard that, that laugh before. Is that royalty free, that laugh? A very forgiving witch. Okay, she has given me all of her, all of her beans. But yeah, uh, given that I got that cutscene, I'm just curious whether... Uh. 
Me actively going away from the kids means that I might be going towards a secret area, but I'm not too sure if I'm going the right way or the wrong way. I want to be going the- oh, I am going to eventually be going the wrong way. Am I? Actually, wait, I need to go to the greenhouse. So if I'm like about to wander into the, the starting hall, and I can finally harass these, uh, Suits of armor, I guess. Look at that, uh, Draco Doorman's, uh, Nunquam, uh, Titalandis? Nunquam is without, I think, but I. I There's Draco Dragon. That's with Dragon. What's up, Crip? How you doing? So now avoid the book and just kind of wander around because I think this area loops though. This makes sense if it loops. Ah! Never trust. There's mirrors everywhere. Mirrors are not real. Look at all these just... I, I can't get over the number of like mirrors and just weird little secrets and like platforming just gigs all over the place. First time in weeks. Dude, first time in weeks? That's all cool. Have the, have the time, I have my friends in the, uh, as in like, you know, good to see you again, but yeah, like, it's all good, oh my gosh, oh, blue beans, I got blue beans. You're a proud Argentinian, ooh, congrats my man, congrats, did you do like citizenship, or um, something of the sorts, or just like, at least in Steam, oh, <laughs> you're a Steam migrator to Argentina, you shall now be able to purchase such wonderful Argentinian games. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to drop down from this ledge without... Okay, Harry just doesn't take full damage, apparently. Yeah, oh, look at this kid wandering around. I hope it's not Neville wandering about his remember all. Hello, Harry. I'm Neville Longbottom. Oh, no. This is my remember all. Like, mm. It tells you if there's something you've forgotten to do. <laughs> this kid's just gonna be a yoink. Oh, it's telling me we have herbology class soon. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, I almost forgot. Watch out for Draco Malfoy. I saw him sneaking around here just a moment ago. I... okay, sure. What is that laugh? <laughs> no, now I can buy normal games that they said F you to, don't even have permission. Oh, do they not let you... What kinds of games do they not let you see? Like, for me... There's some games, there's an Australian, I can't buy Hotline Miami 2. Um, there's not too many games that are region locked, although, uh, this is another dev. There's nothing fancy about this guy though, interesting. And uh, we've come full circle, we're at the top again. Uh, all Sony, Sega, all Sony and Sega, so you can't even buy like Sackboy Adventures normally. Have you tried a broomstick yet? I think I'm a bit scared of flying. Good thing I'm not going to cover that There's in this game. There's supposed to be a secret room around here, and I'm going to be the first. You have a good excuse. To... That is true. That is true. It's always good to, you know. I feel like it's good to get and play games legally well, somehow, well, but then it's also like, yeah, if it, you can't buy them anymore, the castle, or if you can't buy them at all. This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me. Warner Brothers, no yeah. matter how hard you try. You will not be able to oh, get past me. Potter can't get out of the castle. Bro, he's a freaking ten-year-old kid. Just like These deck him in the face. Should make you feel better. Oh, and then They're he called me a cracker. Okay, fun. that's it. Yeah. We're on. Catch. This is just like the PS1 game. Oh, wait. Wait, I gotta catch these, don't I? It's fairly straightforward because I'm not it. aiming anything. Straightforward, to be honest. <laughs> Give my money to the guys that spit in my face. Curse you, Potter! Next time you. Oh, he just so cursed lucky. me. Can I get the frog? Or is the frog off limits? You just, you just, where are you going? You need to also go to herbology class. Oh, these guys are not things I can interact with. Very weird that you can't interact with these. 
makes sense though. Uh, they brought the packing game through. They did, didn't they? All right, out of the door. Into the lovely outdoors of that is just Hogwarts is a massive front door like that. Hurry, I should... over here. Oh no, Hagrid's angry that they gave him a pirate accent in the GB in the Game Boy game. Hello, Harry. It's, it's not PS One Hagrid. Hagrid though. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds. <laughs> He's coming at me with hedge clippers. Keeper, of course. He is so large, those hedge clippers are just regular scissors. Here. Your friend Hermione's at the entrance to the greenhouse waiting for you. Drop round for tea later, after your lessons are done. Okay. Oh, do you trust that wave? Double my Steam account money in the process? Nice. I guess we just came through uh, the Steam Spring sale. It's not spring here in Australia, but... Alright, I guess there's all these, like, plants, but... Can't do anything about the plants, can you? They're just there. They're all there. Hi there, Hagrid. You better get to your herbology lesson. Cost your house points if you're tardy, though, you know. You gotta call me tardy. Off to your lesson, game that I took for rubles. Ah, oh, thanks, uh, Weasley number four. That was a very phallic looking bush. Alright, Hermione's over there. I shall actively try and walk past her. Look at this wonderful terrain. It's not even terrain map, it's like proper modeled, isn't it? Go to your lessons, Potter. You don't even know how to play Quidditch. Uh, yeah, um, touchdown. <laughs> uh, multiple games. Ooh. I actually, I picked up, um, what was it, Formula One 22 on the sale because I think it's probably going to be the cheapest it ever is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's like, man, these are some shrimpy trees. I love how back then it was just like, yep, just have like the same sprite intersecting itself, call it a day. Everyone just agreed, because no one wanted to do any better. Come back when you're big enough to fly a broomstick, he can't, he's got three lines. Oh. I need, to, I need to get his lines. I need to get his lines, it's very important. See, there's a picture of a snitch at the top, that means this guy is a snitch. Stick to your flying lessons, Potter, and maybe one day you'll make the Quidditch team. Okay, thanks for it. The Quidditch pitch is off limits to you, Potter. Go away. Go away. Go to your lessons, Potter. You don't even know how to play Quidditch. Okay. <laughs> I feel degraded already. <laughs> Hogwarts is weird, because you got like, full on like, late teens and then just like, ten year olds. The herbology lesson has just passed Professor Sprout's garden. Oh, head! Did you just see that? I went here for Neville. I think he's got lost again. Did you just see her Go hand? On, that was you incredible. Get to the lesson. Oh, <laughs> it just looks so painful. There's different lines after herbology. Ah, that's good fun. I bet this dragon holds a secret. Lipendo. Ah, yeah, he's eating all the beans. Lipendo. 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 Why is the dragon eating all the beans? Can I still target him? He's done. Okay, now he's now he's done. What's it, what is strange in this with different ages? No, 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 but like, I guess in Australia we usually have like the divider be um, once you're 12, 13, you know, when, or I guess when you're turning 13 that year, that's when you're in high school. So everyone who's like um, ages 7 to 12, basically, that's uh, that's your prep school, your, your primary school rather. Um, and then, uh, yeah, above that, that's high school. So it's like, pretty much all the teenagers are one. Whereas, like, ten-year-olds, I don't know, man, they're pretty young. Oh my gosh, a frog just came out at me. Um, Harry loves Nintendo. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, the snails. Die, snail. Do I, like, turn them on and off, or are they just gonna, like, start up again? Put the, put the setting on gnome setting. We have like 7, 18, 20. 20! Oh, we don't have 20 going on at the same time. It's not, although to be honest, like, I'm a bit of a weirdo. I didn't go to a, um, uh, was it co-ed? It's a, 
It was a boys only school for me, so... No funky business unless you were of that, uh... Of that complexion, which, uh, did happen to a lot of people anyways, so... And even then, people at my school were pretty, pretty wise, they didn't go... You know, they didn't engage in that too much. You start school in 6 or 7, you spend 9 years in it. Or 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, it's like, the actual school would be, there'd be two separate schools. Like, you'd have to go from the primary school to the secondary school. But you didn't have to, like, it's not the same school a lot of the time. Which means, one, I guess your classmates would differ greatly, but it's also, like, purely to keep... Oh, see, here it is in Australia. I don't know. It's probably different for everyone else. America's weird. They do three of them. They got lower school, middle school, high school, and they actually do it in uh, groups of four years. Look at this face. It's... The water's going backwards. Because the splashes are going up. That's magic water right there. <laughs> Am I hearing gnomes? We have one uh, for this because we don't have early school. Ah. What am I hearing? That is terrifying. Oh, every time I see a, like, a hedge maze, I just start thinking Realms of the Haunting, which is another one I will get to. Trust me. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. I've just got to get to Herbology class, bro. Oh, I can't even, I can't even deal with them. I got to time it. A middle professional, middle, middle and college, and professional. Ah. Okay. Look at this. Dumbledore would be like, ah, yes, the third floor, you know, will kill you. Meanwhile, the rest of Hogwarts. <laughs> they got like teeth on the on the base as well. It's terrifying. Please unlock statue. Uh, this is an area. Oh, did I really just trap myself in? No. What did I just hear? This seems like it's just a secret, right? He, he did a spin. He did a spin. Oh, he's now spinning back. Oh! Look at the beans! Mythical beans. Really want to know what they're trying- I think they're carnivorous plants. Oh, they're eating air because they're constantly darting like that? Maybe. What are they eating? They're hungry. I tell ya. So is this just like a little fun courtyard? It's just like here for the sake of courtyardiness. I love that there's a blue pixel on this. Why is there a blue pixel in that texture? It's ev it's everywhere. You can see that blue. Oh, because it's got like... Berries? Is that what they're going for? I think so. I love these secrets. These secrets are just like... Good fun. They're all over the place. And then sometimes... Uh, this is what I mean. It's like, I... <laughs> is there something here? There must be something here. <laughs> okay, here we go. More of these fellas. Nom, nom, nom. Joke about the steam market. Oh, oh, I, I, I oofed. I oofed. Give me, a, give me a good steam, steam joke about in Russia. Steam market joke. Ow. Oh yeah, they announced Counter Strike Two the other day as well. Like uh, the name was kind of rumoring around, and now it's like, yep, now it's uh, officially announced. Um, we'll get into that in a, in a bit. All these secret rooms here. What am I just hearing there? They can still promote games with sales. Oh, so the Steam store comes up and it's just a lot of games that are just not for sale because... Because Russia? Ah, I was thinking like, why is there a line on the ground? Oh, the Zed fighting, but nah, that's cool. Dragons drawing water backwards. These ones are going forward. These are backwards. Particle effects doesn't lie. And page one. So what's something that, like, I assume, like, uh, you know, say for example, the new, uh, Last of Us PC port is just about to come out. What? Get out of here! Oh, he just ate all my stuff! Oh my gosh! I hate these gnomes. I just got gnomed. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, like... So say, for example, The Last of Us. Can you just not buy it, but they're still advertising the heck out of it? Doesn't this... Doesn't this mean it's just like, oh, find a way to play it yourself? You know, isn't that what they're, uh, effectively telling you? Like, look, dude, check out the new Hogwarts game, which is on, uh, on Saturday Clock It. Oh. Oh, like, you get the, the told about it, but just... Then you can't go into it. Very weird. So what games can you actually buy on Steam now? I'd imagine there are games developed by Russians that you can buy, but, like, there's gotta be more than just Russians, right? Listen, if I made a game... Indie games? I guess, yeah. It is such a shame that, like, big publishers are just not selling to... to Russians. But you know what? Well... <laughs> State-sanctioned piracy, I guess. A few devs not from Japan or USA. Oh, Japan also, uh... Walled out? Par like Paradox? Ah... Uh... Oof, that was a bit of a knockback. Yeah, I realized they dart twice. Nom, nom. I have learned their attack animations now. All good. And I've got a Wingardium. Listen, I just draw a W. It's, it's not Leviosa, it's Le Now here's the question, which one's the secret? Because I assume this is the switch. What is going on at the top there? The trees are visible sometimes. What door did I just open? I took that pri- ah. Oh. Okay, which way continues with the level? That way looks like it continues with the level. There's stuff over here. Why, yeah, why would they increase the- oh, I guess tariffs, I guess. Like, it legitimately costs... ...more to sell to... ...I guess now? It seems weird, because it's a digital good. It's like, it's no effort. It's not like anyone unplugs stuff to... ...you know, not support Russia. So we paid to little- oh! I- like, on the one hand, I believe the Russian prices are usually lower than everyone else, although as an Australian, it's like, well, we're usually putting the bill. But on the other hand, it's like, isn't it like a, like a, you know, an average salary kind of equation? It's like, how much are the population willing to pay for video games? And it turns out in Russia, it's much smaller than Australia, we'll just say that. And that's fine, like, that's the equation they set. Um, but I do think it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of developers hiking up the prices, or publishers hiking up the prices. So this guy's over here, and he's got a little cheeky little door right here. Oh, is this just two routes to the same destination? Interesting. There's more of them on the left there. Even older ones. Yeah, I don't like it for older games as well. It's just like, nah, man. You, you release a game at that price, keep it at that price. Games de depreciate in value anyways. What are these, like, what is this? Just overcast hedge maze. I would be terrified by having trees above me. Is it a claustrophobia thing? I don't know, but... Yeah, nah. My, my thoughts on it is, one, I would prefer for, like... Games to not be, you know, differently priced for different regions. I'm not the, the absolute biggest fan of that. Uh, but I also feel like, yeah, like, games in general, when they launch, they're kind of priced according to just how much people are willing to pay day one. Wow! Oh my goodness. I guess they got the Marauder's Map at this point, don't they? Hey, Harry. Have you collected 25 beans? Uh, I guess. I guess. It's Thanks for helping us Help out, these, Harry. These, these, uh, card, these twins keep, you don't have this one yet. keep terrorizing me and keep giving me cards. Come on, I bought Vanilla Heart Divine 4 Cadet Edition for 105 rubies, rubles, sorry, for sale. 
Like one internet store. How much is 150 uh, in like US dollars? Because Australian dollars right now, it's like we're we're probably about 1.5 times that. Two dollars? That is a good price. That's what I love about like key resellers is that they strike like the fine line anyways between like buying games in bulk and then doing a wholesale kind of that is a rather interesting is that a that's not an Alohomora is it? Oh it is Cheeky I'm spotting these secrets I know how 90s level design works and I know if you can go around a building we're gonna let you go around that building we love doing that So I gotta turn both the statues. These are some cool secrets, let me tell you that. Before they up their prices. These are some cool secrets. The fun part about this, ooh, fun part. Can I, can I exit this way or no? I gotta, gotta go back around the building. How many, how many cards have I got? Nine though. I was thinking, am I like, not that far in the game, because I've only gone like a few maps. This is like map four or five. I'm pretty sure there's like 20 something, but... The original Unreal has so many maps, by the way. Like, jeez. <laughs> that game just goes. I love this house. This is a very Unreal house. Okay, that's a bit ominous. Hi there. Welcome, class. I am Professor Sprout. Good old Professor Today Sprout before they knew who was playing her in the second film onwards. All manner of dangerous plants. This one's probably a bit more accurate though. Observe the correct incendio symbol. Oh, Hold it's an onion! The button and follow the pattern. <laughs> then release the button. Because my account is Argentinian. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna draw an onion. Oh, oh, this is an atrocious onion and the time is very strict. Because my account is Argentinian and I don't want to give money to the devs that hate us, I have to Google every small publisher. Ah, you're doing a like a like a litmus test whether they is an outstanding incendiary. Whether they like Russia or not. Five points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. Listen, I guess it's a bit political, but it's like, oh my goodness, like uh I um I guess uh I spoke of it last uh Last week about uh, Pink Floyd. Oh, ran out of time. That's okay. Should be good. Uh, I spoke about uh, Pink Floyd, and I know Pink Floyd has a bunch of political uh, kinds of songs, and especially uh, you know even that ages ago. Uh, Roger Ward is also is a very noteworthy figure on stoking the flames. I will say he opines in a lot of stuff, um, and uh, that's his opinion. But one thing I like partially agree upon with him is like. There's a certain degree of, uh, people get told off for, um, well, actually, I don't know if this is even his stance, but it's like, oh, no, man, this, this Russia-Ukraine one's been First going on for a long Indian, time, and, uh, me personally, it's just like, I got, like, no, with the lesson, Mr. Potter. you know, like, I just want to play video games and stuff, so if that's, you know, if people are unable to play video games because of the war, it's like, you know, if it's a logistics thing, I can see why, what is happening, but it's like, this is just, yes, heck yeah! Even blocking pages, Russia can't put money on Steam the normal where you have to pay other sites. Yeah, it's just like, and I mean, technically it's like, you know, are they a workaround way somewhat? Although I don't think there's anything wrong with, you're able to pay a Chinese service who is then able to fund a, uh, your account. I don't think there's anything wrong with the, san maybe the sanction as a specific clause on that. Because I mean, like, well, I mean, you as an individual doing Steam, what, what about a, like, good one fund propaganda, for example, but it's like, I don't know, I, I don't like how it's like, you're a casual civilian wanting to play video games on Steam. I don't understand why, oh my gosh, excuse me, hit them with the onion. Oh, I got oofed again. Um, but I don't see, like, why... You have to, like, you know, do all these workaround strats just to 
purchase video games. Because all that does, really, is it encourages you to not deal with their strategies, to not deal with the things that they've set up. Or to, to block you. It should be as super easy as possible to pay for things. The quality, the actual, you know, the content of the things, you know, we can find some, like, oh, okay, maybe not everything, but it's like, these are games on Steam, and especially these are things that you have been able to say, uh, you know, buy before. I need to go outside with a rifle to the ca- Well, yeah, yeah, like, uh, I won't, I won't, uh, encourage any, any form of, uh, you know, intimidating activity, but I would definitely say, yeah, like, I would prefer people to be- playing video games at home, then, you know, like, having to protest that they can't play video games at home. This is a typical you know? species of venomous tentacular. One, one day I will get demonetized from YouTube. A lot of that is based on reporting. Who knows? I don't say a lot of keywords explicitly, but we'll see. We'll see. That actually reminds me of, like, one topic, which is, uh, YouTubers, uh, kinda... This is when I start getting hurt so much. But, uh, YouTubers kinda getting, uh... You're very happy about me getting that star, bro. Um... But, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of YouTubers I've seen, um... Where they've... They've gotten big off, like, a certain kind of content. And then at some point, like, they will, like kind of shift gears. They they go a bit too advertiser-friendly, uh, or, um, I guess sponsor-heavy. And, uh, their content changes quite dramatically in response to always making that kind of content. Uh, it's nothing, like, uh, wrong in the sense of, like, it's illegal or really, like, horrendous. Like, I won't blame you for doing that, but, uh, definitely for some people, it's like, yeah, you know, like, you have an existing audience, and I don't think it's quite right to say that your audience is, uh... Bad. If you infer from it. If your audience is bad, uh, for enjoying your older stuff, when you were a bit more risque, a bit more naive. Um... Uh... There's, there's a particular YouTuber, and there's a clip of him, uh, going around, uh, where in an interview he, uh... Kind of toned himself down and kind of said like, I don't know why people come up to me in public and say this certain word. And it's like, because that was your shtick. Like, five years ago. That's not like that long ago. You can say you just don't like it anymore. But instead it's like, it's directed towards his audience being weird for doing it. It's like, you know, your audience is your audience. I don't think you can really control that. And if they're going to act a certain way around you, just say like, hey, I don't feel comfortable about this. Just Turn it personal. Uh, also, you said, uh, get started when you think about this first of trying to promote their beliefs in politics and genders if your country don't... <laughs> I... Like, yeah, there there is a certain degree of, uh... You know, a lot of this stuff is weirdly political, as in it becomes a thing that people... You know, like... Form huge affiliations over, and it's like, bro, some of this stuff is like... I don't think we really should be, like, getting in a fight over this because it seems fairly, like, trivial, if that makes sense. There are some concerns out there that are definitely, like, meaningful, but yeah, there's, like, some things where it's like, um... Oh my goodness, what is going on here, by the way? I was not expecting the magic tree to fall down. Because I'm also thinking, like, that is the way to go, is it not? These are all, like, little hidden things in the, in the side, so I'm gonna go down here, and hopefully this is not the way to continue the level, and instead it's, the uh, Gnome Paradise. I have discovered the Gnome Paradise. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, there are some people out there... Excuse me, did they just spit out a card? They did. They said don't own a Sony console, they can't even download updates on the games because their account is a digital game. Oh, they banned all the... Oh. I hate digital ownership when it comes to that. It's like, I really appreciate Steam's policies because they're like, hey, yeah, like, if, like, if we shut down the servers, we just crack the DRM. They have said that in their policy, that, and every publisher has signed up to do that. 
And I don't think a publisher can even abort selling a game on Steam. If you, oh sorry, well like, you can, you can pull a game off Steam, but if someone has bought that game, they get to play that game. The one thing I wish Steam did was, um, let you download old versions of games really easily. Welcome back to the dungeon. This is, this is the dungeon. Those vines are attacking that poor tree. Isn't that if, like, I got attacked by a sausage? It's like, kind of cannibalism. That looks like a doxy. A do sorry, what? Ouch! Don't get docs, bro. Oh, he he's sliding. He's sliding. I'm just gonna hit the hit the the doxy, I guess. Oh, got him with the flip. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, I guess he's gone. Okay. Who put the beans in the trees? I better not step on them. Put <laughs> beans in the trees. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, there's certain issues on the internet where it's like, especially I, I saw one post which is like, was it AI is erasing um, certain, uh, you know, cer certain identities. Basically, it's like these people have been disadvantaged in the past, and now you're using AI to generate like. AI mod or like you know models of them. It's like oh, like uh, models as in people who pose for photos. It's like you know you're erasing them, and it's just like I don't know, man. Like, I'm not gonna fight like this kind of politics angle on a lot of things. I'm just gonna like you know, tell it like it is. Not everything is all this interconnected web of uh, ideologies all clashing. I think it's just. People are headstrong and thinking that there's a lot of politics in the world when really it's just like... Just, just don't give companies money if you feel a bit uncomfortable. How about that? That's that's the easiest fix to so much stuff. And if the companies can't let you give them money, then that's their loss. I don't know, you know what I, what I mean? Like, I don't want to get deep into the, the political lead. You have two man versus machines, art AI. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I like dude if TF2 was still like being live or you know updated these days, oh boy, the amount of like AI related like references people would make. And I know they've got their upcoming update. It's a holiday size update. What are these trees? I assume I can't fall down. I'm gonna fall down because I hit a book. I assume Harry's gonna Ugh He's, he's sliding, he's going. Listen, I, like, I'm amazed by, like, where this level design is going. This is a lot more bizarre, but a lot more, like, involved. Because I feel like the PS1 game, as much as I enjoy Argonauts games, you know, this just feels, like, so, so raw, you know what I mean? This is just a bunch of platforms, and I love it. This is all I want out of a game. I mean, it's, and it's not even too abstract as well. It's like, it makes sense. What did I just activate? A lift. Go this way. Is this, is this the way? Is there no other, I don't think there was any other doors in there. Oh, we need music from Crash Bandicoot. This is a very Crash Bandicoot section. Gosh, gnomes everywhere. <laughs> Hate gnomes. You know what? At least it's an enemy. Oh my gosh. Alright, at least I didn't steal my beans. I'll just sit there. Bang on 200. Oh! No, oh, he still didn't steal my beans. We're safe. We're safe. Alright, what am I looking at here? There is a lot of stuff going on in this room. We've got that on the ceiling. We've got like these things. Crusader Kings 3 and the Warcraft mod. I have I have seen the the Warcraft mod in passing. I don't know much about Warcraft. But like Crusader Kings in theory, because I I still struggle to understand how to play it, but uh like I am deeply impressed by like the kinds of details and stuff they put in the game. And it's a it's a really good game just on terms of like fun storytelling. It's just a storytelling game and a really interesting one. So Warcraft mod. That seems pretty neat if you're if you're into that kind of stuff. 
Have you noticed these, like, hands at the bottom of these, like, pillars? That's very creepy. Actually, it's really easy. I haven't played three, though. Two, two might be a bit trickier than three to, like, understand. I kind of get it, but then it's just, like... Like, I can't tell you, like, what my consorts and stuff actually, like, do. There's, there's a lot of things. I need to give it a few more goes. Oh, it's bouncing up and down. Is this, like, the milk canister? Or it's black on the inside. Oh, excuse me? You're going on that button, dang it. You're going on the button. <laughs> the most hard part is understanding how to end, how to get war goal. That is true, yeah. Cause you need, you need a, um, a causes belly, which is, uh, Latin. Oh, wait, yeah, that's, uh, that's watering these, so now do I have to spin- Oh, I gotta spin them. Look at that, puzzle. That's some pretty cool stuff as well. That's really cool. Are they going back and forth, or are they- Still, okay, that's spinning around. Buffalo Springs out on E4. Now I can make a mega campaign from Crusader Kings 2 to Stellaris. Oh, that's sick. I actually, I have not done a mega campaign like that, but I really should give it a go. So it's Crusader Kings 2, then Europa Universalis, and then uh, Victoria. And then, is Victoria still one of them? And then Hearts of Iron. Ganelf, get out of there, Ganelf. And then, uh, yeah, Hearts of Iron, and then you get to Stellaris at the end. That's pretty cool. I love the idea that all these games get to hook up with each other like that. There's gonna be another Gnome. There is another Gnome. Someone told her bulgy teacher she just hidden gnomes in the switches. Oh my goodness. Hit him with the onion. Okay. Oh, he still hurts me, if I look at him funny. Can I keep killing him? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, there's a, there's a weird trend of, uh, of YouTubers uh, kind of dissing on their old audiences, and I kind of feel like, you know, I can't wait to try and understand how to hold this back in England claim <laughs> on, on my family tree. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think rule number one of, uh, <laughs> I guess, YouTube personalities, uh, or whatever. I'd love to be able to push this, you know? Um, but I don't know. There's a, I guess there's a certain degree of, like, don't meet your heroes kind of thing. I always feel like it's a bit of a cynical take, but it's like, eh, you know, it's somewhat true. Um, I think one one other thing is that, uh, Twitter is where brain cells go to die, and, you know, I know it's another stream where I mentioned Twitter. But it's like, a lot of the time it's like, I, you know, these people make, like, very weird, like, comments or disses or whatever on Twitter when it's not really asked for. Rest in peace, dream online personality. Oh, like, uh, this, this, this is what the mask is. Like, uh, I don't know much about Dream. I just know of uh, the, uh, you know, him, him, uh, trying to get away with cheating in Minecraft. Is that Dream? <laughs> Open the door. It's locked. They really love their double switches, don't they? Two switches. You gotta open... Just have like, you gotta open one door and then there's another door behind it or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so rule number one, uh, I don't know, I don't engage on Twitter. I say some things on my, um, Pleroma, um, instance, on the Fetty. uh, that's the point, he showed his face and all, oh, yeah, never, never, re well, listen, if you go through my old videos, you'll probably find a face reveal somewhere in there, but... It's more that I don't really, like, I try to not, like, set myself up to be, like, you know, any kind of idolist character. I'm just like, I'm just a guy, I play videos on the internet, or I, I play video games and make videos about, what am I climbing up right now? That was a legendary climb, you cannot deny that climb was tremendous. 
what's going on up here as well. Um, it's face and stone. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing the outside world. Ooh, outside world. Dear God. Well, that's a different XCC song. <laughs> Frog! Oh look, another another star. I'm hoping you can see at the end of the hitbox in front of your face. Dude, these wall faces, I swear. What are these like the the faces on the back of these? Is that supposed to be the teacher? Because it was different for like the other switches as well. But they're all like flipendo switches as well. Also, welcome back to the dungeon! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, I don't know, but uh, I think as a fan, don't one don't idolize the people you you watch. But just kind of enjoy them for the content they make, and uh, enjoy the content. And that's it. Uh, and as a creator, uh, don't don't be weird. Don't like you make videos on the internet. Like you don't have to be too much of an internet personality. When I want to be cross on the internet, I don't <laughs> use my name. I'm just like, bro, I just want to like, you know, say some things and get some reactions and have it absolutely not pin on to me in any way, shape, or form, because everyone does that. Oh, screw this, I'm making your reoccurring... I, listen, I, I would gladly accept a reoccurring meme. Look who put the chest on top of the hedges. There's a, a um, DreamWorks film about this, over the hedge. Look at that! How many games am I going to play where there's dungeons? Like, just things I can regularly return to. Such a- I- it's always, welcome to the dungeon! How many is that? Eleven. That's a pretty good, like, solid, we're nearly- Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. I always do living in a wheelchair, which is, um... <laughs> that's- that's one of my favorite things. I always sing it to my mates, I hate it. How's this chest even stand on these? They're very strong. Have you seen Hedge Maze leaves? They are brittle as. Not brittle, because that means they break. I love these, like, geysers over here. And I love this as well, where it's like, you could have just had me go in a room and hit four switches, but instead, I'm about to make a pretty fountain. There's nothing secret in any of these waterways, is there? I don't see anything, because they're going to let me oh, almost walk in them. Uh... The game hasn't died, I'm just... What? What? <laughs> did I- did I- did I clip out real hard just then? I can pause, I can go into the Folio Magi, but... I, th I think I got a load of save! Is- is- Fab, is that- is that a bad- a bad zone? You're not allowed to touch! You're not- do, What exactly happened? We did it, we did it, we broke it, so... Oh well, I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to load a save. At least the saves are, you know, regular. But, uh, yeah, it does mean I'm at the beginning of this room. I'm at the beginning of this room. We've, that was the end of the game, right? <laughs> Harry, Harry just sees the unknown. <laughs> so is that, like, a recurring glitch where it's, like, you can out of bounds? Some spots in the game where the camera will just... Yeah, that, that seemed like it, where, like, the entire... Because a lot of game engines, the camera holds both, you know, the, the rendering logic as well as also the, um, the audio. And that makes sense, that suddenly you don't see anything, and you don't hear anything. If the camera itself disappears. Cameraman got drunk, oops. Um, it's really rare. Okay, so I've done the, the feather skip. In the, uh, in the Wingardium chamber, and I've also done, uh, an Out of Bounds, uh, Soft Crash. We're doing pretty good, we're doing pretty good on this stream. And yet, and yet, besides that, I am still having a really good time. And I think that's actually, like, is this the success story? Because that's what I want to do. I want to play video games. A lot of the games I play on my channel are games that I've played before. But like when it's something I haven't played before, it's like it's either gonna be a bit, a bit, or it's gonna be something I actually really dig. 
Is it a perfect game? No, because Harry's kind of walking up backwards for a moment. Um, but it's neat. This game is full of neat. It's super cool. And I just wish that, like, it was more accessible and you didn't have to go to, like, my abandoned way to, to get it. Okay, let's not walk next to the next to the thing this time. You know, it's probably probably possible. There you go. I did it. Did I get all the stars? Please tell me I got all the stars. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. You've collected hey, all the challenge stars. I have 3.5k Argentinian go. ARS. And I don't know what to buy with all of this limits that I really don't want to pat for guys who blocked us in Russia. There was a loading screen in that, by the way. That was just... Oh, I can talk to the guy again. And he's put beans next to him for some reason. There are beans out here. Um, well, I would always say, uh, buy stuff that is on sale. Check uh, SteamDB for uh, whether they're all-time the sales. Boomstick training, Potter. Don't be late. Off the boomstick training. Come back when you're big enough to fly a broomstick. <laughs> there it is. So good. Go to your lessons, Potter. Quidditch isn't for first years. Why is there no first year Quidditch games? Is it just because it's generally dangerous? Harry, like, you know, gets a boneless arm in the second film, so... That's the point. Uh... But yeah, I guess, like, what else would you get? Oh. There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. Nah, oh, man. I've got something I need to talk to you about. Almost everything. Discuss it back at my heart. So, so your account's in Argentina, which means, do you have access to a lot of things, or is it still like you gotta like VPN it now? You gone, Hagrid. Hi. You'd best go and see Neville. <laughs> Nearly Adam. decked me in the face with those hedge clippers. Training. The hedge clippers are the most like overpowered weapon in like Postal Two. I ain't trusting that. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Hi, Neville. Please help me. No. So, you're not. so Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious Remembrol. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> That's some good simultaneous laughter. You can see everything, but it makes you work you can catch much me? harder. Come on, then, Potter. Oh, because now you've got too many options. Oh, okay, we're going. Give me back Neville's remember all, Malfoy. Oh my gosh, Neville did Harry say Neville something back. for once? See if you can catch it. See if you can and catch you it. Watch out for my bludgers. That, that's a euphemism. Okay, so. Same thing, same rules as before, just don't touch the bludgers. Just touch them in the butt. Malfoy touching you in the butt. Press the jump key? I've, I'm already bumping them. We're having a good time. I feel like we're done. I'm not playing any of this. Oh, okay. We just have to go through this section. Another child murder over kill count. I play a lot of games with child murder. Yeah, I bumped him and now he's just, uh, we're just going. He could have put it in his pocket or something. He, he, he was like two-handing the broom in the actual scene, but... And his face in the bottom right. Oh, that's what it meant. I had to kill him. <laughs> you damaged my broomstick. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you can clip it. Yeah, sure. Here, take this stupid thing. I have no use for it. You can't remember why you stole it. What a what a what a chuck as well. Neville, you won't believe it. Rememberalls are just a commonly sold you thing in stores. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Yeah, you can clip any part of the stream, it's Come all good. Back. <laughs> Come back, Trevor! Oh I my gosh. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads! Why did you put him there, Neville? I <laughs> played too Mr. many games Potter, with Charmander. I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. I can sweep. Ordinarily, first-year do... students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Okay. Harry, 
Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. I only play Quidditch once in the film because I feel like that's kind of all you need as well. But, okay. H Harry's just flabbergasted. He's just like, oh, look. Not only do people treat me differently at the school purely because of my name, but he also keeps getting treated differently at the school. Very interesting. Look, this is a somewhat of a hub world, isn't it? There's like three different like doors you can go down. Find Hagrid's hut. I saw that pop up on screen briefly. No train. Go, go, child of genocide. You don't need a train for it. You just go for it. This is a wonderful tunnel, by the way. I love how like the walls are all lit the exact same because. Uh, well, one, it's falling out in space, but also, oh, that's such an unreal water. That is just typical unreal water. Is that like a ledge down here? If I were to drop in the water, could I just climb back up up here? I guess so. Oh, uh, but like, yeah. All right, game design tip 101. They've got this here, and then the problem is if you try and bake lighting, which a lot of these games do, you're, you're probably going to end up in like a complete dark spot in here, so they end up just not using lighting. I have not seen- I, someone sent me a video, I think, uh, my mate sent me a video about Unreal 5.2. Listen, Unreal is a crazy engine. Some people have some reservations about Epic Games because of that store and all the, you know, all that stuff, but I'm just like, bro, the Unreal engine is, like, remarkably good at these, like, traditionally, like, you know, it seems easy at first and then it's just like, bro, how do we actually do that in, in real time? Um, well, on real time. Uh, so I, I super appreciate, um, just all the work in the engine. Actually, have you guys seen the, um, the, the MetaHuman demo? They did. Uh, so, and I know MetaHuman has been a thing for a while, but what they showed off was, uh, what they showed off was live on stage, um, at somewhere? GDC? Maybe? Uh, was, uh, an actress doing a short take. It was about 30 seconds. Um... And, uh, she, she just stood in front of a phone, filmed the thing, phone was on a tripod. Uh, they then sent that footage to, uh, the Unreal Engine. The Unreal Engine scanned that for, uh, what her facial, you know, motion was like. And then they mapped it onto, um, onto a metahuman, basically. And the metahuman was properly animating with, um, oh, so, hello there, little sidewall. Oh, the beans under the log. There we go. Uh, you need to see the aisle 6.5 update come along. Ooh. Single bean. But also, what is going on here? I'm worried I'm gonna go the way you're meant to go. Yeah, this kind of looks like the way you're meant to go, so hold on, I'll climb back up again, and then I'll come back down. This is what I mean, it's like, which way is the way you're meant to go, and which way is the way for the secrets. But I'm thinking like, you know, it doesn't look like there's a way to return back to this room. But there's also an arrow there, and the arrow makes me feel like you're meant to go this way. I'm going to take a little hidey hole as the, uh, the actual, because you're not meant to see that when you walk around here. So I'm actually going, I'm going down the hidey hole. We're doing it. Um... But yeah, the, and, so, the metahuman thing I think they've had for a while, um, they're definitely still working on it, and it's basically just like a, uh, a facial animation, um, kind of system. I'm not too sure if it, they're, they're extending it to the full body, but they're definitely focusing on faces for a bit. Um, I think it does map onto full bodies. Uh, it's a multiplayer game which they're trying to simulate dinosaur life with real, real life animals. At least these guys don't still beans. They're kind of annoying anyways. It's pretty cool. So it's like you milk like... Stegosaurus. Which, which dinosaur would have the best milk? That is a very... A very I've got a lot of bizarre questions I'm asking in this stream, am I? Some, these are some ledges and a half, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, the, the whole demo, one, to me, as a software engineer, is just like, wow, that demo ran super smoothly. It was like a five minute total demo, and I managed to get like that thing working properly live. Um, 
Because, uh, yeah, whenever you, whenever you do stuff, don't just mammals have milk. I guess, yeah, true. But, like, you know, we don't, we don't drink, like, polar bear milk. <laughs> that sounds so stupid now I say that. Uh, we're talking about face animation. We don't know why Stalker 2 devs did not make a game yet. But they showed the new trick. Yeah, a, a lot of, a lot of games, and, and game dev is a very uh, curious beast because they're super complex. There's lots of parts moving around. Uh, publishers want to show off that the game is good and healthy in, in development because, you know, investors. Um, but now games take so long that it's like, now you got to come up with some weird milestones to test. And so engine improvements is always one of the easiest ones. But to be honest, yeah, like, I don't know, man. I, I would focus a lot of people into making a game, and especially, um, you know, Stalker 2 is, uh, it's been out for a while. I don't see, and the, the best part as well, I don't see any reason why Unreal can't solve everything there might be some specific engine limitations maybe you do really want so many little tiny objects maybe the engine just doesn't support that uh, or maybe you want to optimize this almost looks like a ledge i could jump across but it doesn't look like there's anything there so mother russia you have to <laughs> drink all of their milk to survive yes yes Game be like, hmm, how do we signal that you gotta break a tree? Right here. Um, but yeah, the actual, like, my biggest gripe with so many, um, modern animations, and this is no, not like a dig towards people who do animation for a living, but like, the biggest thing I find is that video games are constantly pushing for that photorealism, but photorealism it's not animation, and the moment animation gets in there, uh, people still don't quite look right. We're not quite getting facial animations right, and I can't fully describe it, but I would say it's because there's more muscles in the face, there's more little parts of them that are moving around, whereas a lot of games it's like sloppy mouth, it's like blah 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 blah, blah. that's what their mouths kind of look like, and maybe they'll, you know, the mouth will stretch and, and move a bit to kind of simulate the the consonants that this or the, the the assonance that they're saying um but then it's just like okay well also you got the tongue you got the teeth moving independently from the lips which is uh, a bit of a weird thing once you start seeing it in motion but like yeah no, that's that's always there this reminds me of um uh the last level in episode one of duke nukem 3d do you know what i mean and look at that right there the dude they showed how they can take every human to yeah, uh, oh yeah, 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 but they, they, like, the metahuman thing solves, or at least, not solves, but like, it, it is a, um, a solution in, in the product sense, like, it is a tool that actually does do the, 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 the um, teeth and all those things that I was saying, it's like, yeah, like, the bits that I would typically complain about for facial animation are being done here. It still looks a little off. And I think I'm not going to be able to fully articulate until I can see it in person because you're dealing with, um, with uh, YouTube compression limits and especially why are there so many video clips uh, going around that are still 1080p? Like, I'm, uh, like officially published by IGN. It's just like, at this point, can we start like always having presentations in 4K? We're really saving on bandwidth there. Like, imagine all the... Oh, dude, you know, the worst part is that like, okay, so... And, 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 this is a, this is a, a thing. We'll get burnt out. Uh, you can have AI generate models from images. As in, here is a real human being. Uh, we're doing a pretty good job of, like, you might be able to, like, describe a person or show, like, a few reference images and then be able to effectively generate a model of them. Um, fill in the blanks. Should do okay. I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage, I wanna... <laughs> um, you can repeat with the voice, uh, and the best part is that, to be honest, voice reconstruction is kind of really good now. A lot of people don't quite know the tells. I think there's a lot of um, tells when it comes to the acoustics of the room they're in, and uh, there's some correctness on how a video game does recreate a person's uh, sound. But in general, it's like, you know, we've got... We've got definitely the ability to do the model and the sound, and all we need to now do is go... Okay, that looks like the way to go. Now all we need to do is, um... Attach the two together, and then... Um... Couple it with, uh... Um... 
you know, the animation that's really making it worthwhile. And I think, you know, we might be within a year, but I'm going to say a c quite a few years. I'll say five years. That's a general amount of time. I assume the water's going to kill me. Um, also, cave. I, have lo I love how I've wandered into a cave, and this is a very... I'm loving this level design. It's just, it's taking me back to an era like... Like this. It's like, look at this. What sense does it make that there is a chest full of trading card? Just right here. No TF2 source 2. I know right now. They need they need a source 2 for a TF2. I'll get onto the Counter-Strike 2 thing in a moment, but um, yeah, like I feel like we're on the pretty good cusp of like it being really accessible. And I <laughs> wanna be careful with the, the word choice, but really accessible for people who don't typically have art talent to be able to create mods with real reference people or even better um ai generated people that are indistinguishable from real people they have enough details it's just that exact person doesn't exist that's that's it um turn that into a model uh create the the, the voice you know ai lots of people sound the same you can do i don't think anyone's voice is particularly copyrighted yet we'll see also, uh, I have lots of videos of myself on the internet, and I would 100% love to try out and, like, recreate myself. I don't know, that'd be fun. Um, but yeah, like, I think we're on the brink of, like, a lot of people making, like, fun content that looks and feels like it took multiple, you know, real actors and actresses to, to perform. Because a lot of people don't have the capabilities to constantly hire actors and actresses to be the models and, and then creating them in the game and doing all that stuff and then I, I always say on a um, uh, on a turnaround level it's like you can easily get an AI you know to look a certain way or say a certain thing rather than have to be like oh excuse me voice actor can you come to the studio and say this one line because I'm not too sure how it sounds like that kind of stuff uh, Skyrim with AI generate Obama voice special. I mean, the reason why they're using the presidents for a lot of those memes is one, because it's a bit funny, and uh, two, um, because there's so much readily available audio that we've got like super good models of these people. Um, there's there's some where it's like you can tell like certain audio developed or s certain um, AI voices that are developed with much less data. Um, Hurry, over Hurry. here. Oh, he's feeding it. That is Come a on, massive man. pig. Something to show you, man. Hagrid, bad touch. By the way, congratulations on making the Quidditch team. Word travels fast round Hogwarts. Okay, bro. Thanks, bro. USA presidents play Hearts of Iron for Millennial Dawn. Putin can't play, so Putin took over Russia. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? Wow, what a dig, now Hagrid. I can show you what I wanted to talk to you about. For two years in that sentence. It's a dragon's egg, Harry. But it's our secret, mind you. The egg is at a very delicate stage. You are roasting it. I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire I like yeah, how you have a random pigs to skill to throw up a good slot. Harry. <laughs> right. I know, right? There's only two pig sounds. They're either oink or squealing. Minecraft's a great I need example. You to collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Careful though, they're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down for you. Pick Give me up. some gloves. Off you go then. Give me some gloves, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm going. Try to write Trump. Do yeah, these memes are amazing. I, I love them. And I really hope, uh, like, some people are gonna. There's gonna be some people who are gonna get very upset that they're being turned into, like, AI voices. Like. I thought that we've already gone through that motion with deepfakes, haven't we? Where it's like some people have, like, kind of accepted the fact that, like, yeah, if that's a photo of you, you're gonna be deep faked. And so it's like AI voice generation is like, oh, what's gonna happen? Even T9 will allow me to say Russian president and not Putin. Oh, okay. Look at this place. What's this, like, why does Hagrid have just, like, a mystical cave next to him? What are these mystical caves? I love how every single piece of medium, including the uh, the third Harry Potter film and onwards, Hagrid's hut is in a very different place. That is the rest of Hogwarts back there because the map is just that large and the renderer is not that 100% uh, robust. Oh gosh! 
about to get about to get nailed by this guy. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I I really like the idea of like you know low effort. We can create some nice like just voiced mods or modeled mods. And uh, yeah, the people who want to make the sex mods, you know, they're gonna have a field day. And you know what? Their tools sometimes better than all of us, so I don't mind the tool generation, you know? Shout out to all like those blender rigs because um, they really liked Elizabeth in Bioshock Infinite. And Overwatch. I can't rip on Overwatch too hard because it did uh, create nice animation tools for the rest of the, the, uh, the community to enjoy. Some people really enjoy it. <laughs> the bra moment about this is that they... Uh, Bush took over the USA in this fight. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Good old Bush. Ah, oh, I love my Unreal Caves. Actually, this reminds me, I, like, I know I said this, I played Vampire the Masquerade, um, maybe a month ago now. And, uh, it's just like, ah, oh, seeing, like, a Source Engine cave just, like, right there. And that's what I love about, like, this. All this game just did right now, and I haven't spoken about the game directly for a while, but, like, all the game just did is that I just walk in, there's a sign, that way, and a bunch of platforms. And it's just like, just figure it out. There's a secret below the waterfall. Oh, so if I go back to the waterfall. Have I been doing a pretty good job in finding the secrets? I, yeah, the waterfall seems like a, a place I should have been looking, actually. Below the waterfall ledge. Uh, I can't exactly jump off. I need Zelda music. This is Zelda music. Can I get it from here? Not yet? Oh, not yet. Oh, like eventually I'll probably... Get, um, somewhere around there. I would actually love... I love Unreal maps with, like, massive... Um, just kind of structures that the map itself works around. Spoilers. That is a spoilers moment. Uh, that's okay. It's all good. He like waves his hands every time he jumps. He hasn't been yelling as much. I ha it's because I haven't been strafe jumping. Because like, when you hit left and right, you turn. But when you jump, he's like, he leans. He leans for it. The jumping is like fairly um. It's been a while since I've been casting spells on things. The jumping is fun. Just the way he leans. I love it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, they got the they got the wooden bar set up. This has been a mine shaft, and they've just abandoned it because there's all these. All right, so somewhere down there, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye out because I assume it's not just. Yeah, okay. I was like, it's not just drop off everywhere, is it? This makes sense. Ah, oh, lo I love me some old Unreal fog. Like I can see there's a platform here, but I cannot see that far in front of my face anymore. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. I love, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna gush over like early 2000s, just like, caves and cliffs. These are so like, homely to me. I would love to just like, live in a place that just looks like this. And I know it's probably wet, damp, and constantly sounds like waterfall. But you know what? <laughs> At least I don't have to pay Sydney rent prices. <laughs> that was a very like at at some point that is good that sentence is gonna age horrendously. Either for the better or for the worse. <laughs> but it ain't gonna be the same, let me tell you that. Uh, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's just like, ah yes, making a sentence that uh will, will age a bit, so. I love where this game's taking me as well. Like I'm I'm wandering through a, a mine shaft. That didn't happen in the other games. I feel like I barely went anywhere in the Game Boy game. And I get it, it's a Game Boy game, but I also feel like it padded it out with grinding and... Uh, you know, kind of wandering from one room to another. Here it's just like, this is proper... You know, kind of adventure platforming. This feels really great, really good fun. I feel like it's a solid game you just don't get anymore. Games are a bit afraid to just hide secrets all over the place. Like, even if it's like, oh, it's just like another room and you get some beans. I feel special every time something shows up. 
that wasn't immediately told to me. Even if it's for something as minuscule as that. And there's a lot of games out there that are just afraid of doing that, and it's weird. Ah, uh, again, again, I love my large cliff sides. I don't care that this is a bit of a weirdly unrealistic, like, landscape for, uh, especially in Harry Potter. It's just like, oh, okay. Although Harry Potter, the Hogwarts is kind of, uh... Oh. Harry's dead, bro. How far back do I, do I have to go? Oh, okay. I gotta do the secret again. Finally, I botched up a jump. Game 1 had more open grounds than Game 2. I am going if I, once I play game two, because I, I would like to actually experience game two at some point. Um, it is also on the Unreal Engine though, is it? The second game, or is it um, a bit different? I don't know if the, I don't know about the other games though. Um, but yeah, like I, I love this. This is actually like just cool and neat. It's just tickling like a wonderful fancy of just like, hey, yeah, like, this is just a game where you explore, you do jumps. This can't, yeah, yeah, we're back, back, welcome back to the dungeon. Back in. Do I jump down? This looks like it continues. Yeah. So why is there a staircase here? I'm gonna jump down here. We'll see what happens. Is that an elf? No, that's a card. <laughs> down, down to Goblin Town. We're heading down. We're going down. Whoosh! I love me a good whoosh. So how many cards is that? 14. Am I more than halfway to the game? I'm definitely knocking off a few maps now. Uh, does this go back up? Ah, okay. Okay. It's just a way to go back up. Cool. Okay, that's a uh, far jump. What is a far jump? That's because there's a wonderful tree. There we go. Look at that. I'm learning how the game works. It doesn't need to explicitly tell me. It's only half. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, play it all in one stream. Um, but I would like to maybe see the end of this map. End of this, uh level. We'll see if there's like a pretty like clear checkpoint of like where, you know, where to stop. Um, well, that looks like the way to go. And this way has a frog, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be the way. I guess I got more than half the cards, like it's 14 out of 25, but one of them is given to you once you get all, all of them. And that also assumes I'm getting all of them as well. But there was also a period where there was a no cards for a while, so... There's a lot of these chests, though. And a lot of beans, I'm just like... That bean is gone, that bean is... <laughs> we ain't getting that bean back. <laughs> um, can't wait to see you get lost for 30 minutes in like this Tomb Raider stream. No cards that you found. Oh, dude, yeah, 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 what... <laughs> Once I ever play Tomb Raider 3... I don't feel as confident in Tomb Raider 3, that's my only gripe. I could do Tomb Raider 3... I've played it before, but oh boy, I really want to play it without a walkthrough. And, uh... Well, that looks like the thing I was looking for. That but, yeah. must be a fire seed plant. Hagrid told me to stay away from the hot seeds. The hot seeds? <laughs> it's just like popcorn. You ever touch popcorn kernels? Where, like, after you've microwaved the popcorn, and there's some unpopped kernels, and you touch them, and they're super hot. Nintendo. Oh, that's easy. Oh, snap, they're still hot. Oh, okay. Quitting, quitting, quitting. That's fun. That's a fun sound. Is that it? Am I just going, here is a dead oak tree that's on fire? Moses asked why the bush was burning. His bootleg fireworks. I love it. Okay, alright, real talk as well. Caves. Hole. Dripping ceiling. Mwah. Mwah. Love it. I love it. Bush is probably Mr. President. Get down. 
Um, oh gosh, I haven't even talked about um, Linus Tech Tips channel getting hacked. We'll get into that. Uh, Counter-Strike 2. I gotta, I gotta mention this topic. Counter-Strike 2 kind of looks like Counter-Strike uh, Global Offensive. A lot. In fact, actually, there's some people already playing it. Aren't there? Some people. Yeah. Game 2's got... Doesn't the second game have a bunch of, like, reused assets? And yet, this is not one of them. Also, I'm curious, because there was that area back there. I'm not too sure if I return back here. Or... This is the cheeky area where you they all do. I guess yeah, yeah, true. I mean, I mean, this is an annual franchise, technically, or semi-annual in some cases. But you know, the second movie came out in 2002, then maybe 2004, 2005. Uh, if I just jump back here, 2007, 2009, 2011, 2012. Yeah, like I'm curious what's down there, unless. Oh, unless that's where I was before, like, I literally jumped up there and around here, so, okay, I'm good. Uh, does anyone play old Counter-Strike game, uh, Wreck Inked? Recent? I haven't played that one, unfortunately. I've not played a ton of, uh, Counter-Strike lots of modes, unfortunately. I was unfortunately in the- or, in some degrees, fortunate, but... I don't think it's fortunate or unfortunate. I was in a circle, and we'd play a lot of um, Counter-Strike, uh, well, we'd be TF2 for a long time, and then we eventually went to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Um, and then uh, at some point, we kind of wear ourselves out. Um, but I used to, because I bought old Valve games on that, the good old Valve pack. Valve are great in how cheap they, they run all their games. Um, but yeah, the one, um, uh, we play kind of stock Counter-Strike Global Offensive until um, we get a bit tired. Um, so Counter-Strike 2 kind of looks like it's just more Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or mostly not really more, but kind of the same. There are some maps that are indeed a little bit different. Uh, they showed off... Um, what was the map? Uh, Overpass. They showed off Overpass with some different placements, but in particular they really want to redo the lighting of a lot of the, the levels. And to be honest, I invite more color, so good on the new engine for really building on that dynamic nature, because some of the levels got very, very gray. Um, also, since Counter-Strike's still been updating their levels anyways, some of them are kind of recent already, and they're not going to look too weird. Uh, would you like to buy some TF2? Can I, can I interest you in some hats? Yes. Oh, I had someone, like, raid my Steam. Not raid. That sounds, you know, more serious than it is, but, um... They looked at, like, my Steam inventory, and they offered me, like, for several loose Steam gift games I've got in my inventory, they just offered me one, like, Manco key. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, some of, the, some of these games are worth way more than, like, three dollars. You may be thinking, well, why do you have copies of games in your Steam inventory? And then the question is, I don't know, man. I had some mates buy me, like, DLCs for games I don't own. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh! Oh, jeez! I hate it! Kill it! Oh, he's gonna poop more at me. Get him out of here! Push him in the corner. The fact that that pack still got updates for so long... Uh... Here, just saw it. Well, I guess, yeah, the weird thing is, yeah, Valve doesn't release a lot of games. When you ran down the slope, uh, the door on the right was where you came in from. Um, this one, yes, yes, yes. So I came in from here, and then I saw the sign, I turned left, and I got the fire crystals. And then I went right. So, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I, I didn't just miss a massive door. Uh, this family-friendly game, you 3-pixel monster Nintendo. He's very shiny, but he does poop fire at me, so... Stellaris, it's a Peggy 7 game. What? Oh! Oh, snap, okay. I realized, I've realized... This reminds me of Spyro 2, when you have to... Hit the, that is not the direction I was aiming at, but sure. You gotta hit the turtles into the... Into the pool. Spoilers on my next game, whoops. You all heard it here first. Oh my gosh. How do you deal with these guys? Mechanical stuff. Oh, like pushing turtles. Come on. 
Oh, I get the, get the top. Always being attracted to it. There he goes. Uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying never, but I am saying that like I do want to spread out the kinds of games I do play. So I don't want to always play Harry Potter games. Um, but I would totally be open to the, the, uh, you know, playing these games at a later point because I really am digging them to some degree. I worry though that they are gonna get bad. Like all the Harry Potter films, they don't get bad for me. But they do get like, you know, they go from I like them to I'm liking them less and less and less. This is the bug that the wooden door did not open. Perhaps it would make sense for the door to open. And the worst part is I just hit a save, didn't I? Like if I just jump down here, it's like, yep. That turtle is hard not not going in there. The door ain't opening. Alas, I think I've botched it. Have we? Are we not gonna get the perfect cards? We're not gonna get perfect cards, oh no. Oh no. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, my brain was just like, you know, I was expecting to be rewarded for murdering this turtle, but I wasn't. Oh, wait. Ah, ah. So, so murder was not the solution. Murder was not the solution. It was just finding another hidden door. Or this game has multiple solutions to the same puzzles. Why is there a way to exit from here? For me, it was the first games with decent prototypes completely blown out of the water by the second games, and then the third games were not as good. Yeah, yeah. That, I might, that might be the gist of it as well. Um... Gosh, I can't remember how long ago I played the, um, the second game on the PS1, the second film. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a degree of, like, you know, they tried making... And I guess that's the really interesting thing about, um, all these first Harry Potter games. Is, uh, like, all these companies made this from scratch. Or, at least they shared music assets for this one. Um, but, like, yeah, it's just, like, you know... Harry Potter's going to be a big franchise. We want you to make these tie-in video games, and they're not just like complete throw-ins. Like, I've seen some licensed games. They are just like, oh boy, oh boy, sign sign me up. I will I will lock this in for a later date. It's not gonna be the next game. Um, you can no longer play as Luigi. I'll lock this in for a later date. Uh, I want to play the Lilo and Stitch PS1 game on stream because uh, there are some horrendous like, tie-in games. Someone's gonna be like, oh, I love the Lilo and Stitch game. I, like, more power to you if you do enjoy it, but to me, it's not that it's a bad game, but that it's just like, yeah, I can accomplish all of that in two hours. In a single stream, I could probably beat that entire Lilo and Stitch game. Um, it's funny if you look at the games, you know, it's like a list of things that they somehow have to include uh, in game two, Tossing and Gnomes. Yeah! Is it in the box? Is that, like, why? Is it in a deleted scene? I don't remember in a deleted scene, so I've, I've got one of those two-disc DVD sets with the, um, you know, with the Explore the Castle on the second disc. Even the DVD is a game. The DVD of the second film is a proper, like, actual exploration. Which is incredible. Oh my gosh, this game's got stalactites. This is incredible. I also love, and just want to add, Unreal Engine levels are massive. This level has been going on for, like, Probably half an hour now. <laughs> Why stop? No Pokemon Ruby? Uh... No hard plans? It's not It's not the next thing, but I, I would like to do a little bit of pre-research before I get into that. But Pokemon Gold... Actually, I don't even know if I follow my plans for that. I'd like to do it at some point. To be honest, I, like... There's a there's a certain degree of redemption of the games that I never finished on my channel ages ago, um, and uh, Pokemon Diamond is uh, potentially one of the last ones I never finished. There's gonna be some, some more Master of Illusion. Oh boy, 
how do you even stream Master Evolution? You need to like spoil the game, basically, which is what I named this, the video. I said, let's spoil Master Evolution. But... Yeah, I'm always curious about those kinds of, uh, you know, how exactly do you present a game on stream and in a in a fun way where you can just like go through it, riff on it. Oh my gosh. Don't poop on me, turtle. Get out of here. That that turtle is toast. What is going on down here? That looks like the normal way to go. This looks like I can make this jump. And then that might look like I can make that jump, but we'll see. Okay, that's got like bars there. Okay, okay. I, um, level designer, which way am I meant to be going? Did I just, did I just loop around? I just sequence broke for a hot second. I think I did, actually. Um, yeah. Lots of games that I would like to play. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's the actual route. That's the actual navigation route. More beans. So many beans. Okay. Does this look like a way to go, or is this just like, ah, so if that, have that after Gen 3 transfer all your Pokemon to use in, in the post-game of other games. Um, I would like to look up how to do the transfers, um, with emulator stuff, but yeah, that's a good idea. The nice thing is that, yeah, you can always preserve your, your saves. Cough, cough, I haven't preserved my Golden Sun save, whoops. You just gotta, you just gotta go again, you just gotta <laughs> play the game again. Do everything you did in, uh, in that previous run. I always had the intention of playing Golden Sun 2, but since I had never finished the first game uh, until I streamed it before. <laughs> that was a gnarly effect. That was incredible. Um, oh, snap, we're we, we done. Ah, this is the other exit. Hagrid, what the heck? This was all one map, by the way. This was incredible, the fact that all of that was one map. And he's got goat. Hello there, goat. Can I flip into the goat? <laughs> Not really. Hagrid! Great work, Harry. You've collected all the fire seeds I need. Here's Thanks, a bro. wizard card for you from my own collection. I assume that's because I Come grabbed on every inside, single Harry. one. Wipe your feet now. Okay. Game two, he has one or two or three pigs. I guess he's got like two there, so... Did he eat one between films? <laughs> Harry! Go ahead and put him in the fire, Harry. He learned how to climb stairs like Professor Flitwick falls off uh, tables. Oh, I should have gone to the pig. Oh no! My bad, sorry. You've done it, Harry. I just like tab- I, I look over and I'm like, oh no. Hey, hey, lovely. I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Norwegian oh, Ridgeback. Come here, beauty. Oh, he just grabs. Thanks, Hagrid, that's a bad touch. Flute. It can be used to help some creatures sleep. Okay. Hagrid, you should not be Let's holding a dragon by that. Now. Should be an exciting game. Slytherin's a tough team, but you'll show him, eh? Yeah, okay. Mm. We better give Norbert his first feed soon. No, the pigs. Oh, we're going for hot, for Quidditch. Okay, we'll do the Quidditch. <laughs> it it T-pose for a moment. I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan. This is the same voices as the PS1 game. Harry, you're not supposed to be running. You're supposed to be on your broom. They got a lot of trees around here. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through. Oh, snap! <laughs> what are you doing there? Watch out for the bludgeon. Did he have a chest in there as well? Inside the hut. I, I'd never had control inside Hagrid's hut. So that might be a secret. Oh my gosh, look at the look at the grandstands. Oh. It's his job to find his job and catch oh. the golden oh. sword. <laughs> no favoritism. No favoritism. Sorry, Oh my gosh. Oh, I just realized as well. Uh, heads up, everyone. Um, I'm pretty sure Australian Daylight Savings uh, turns off 
this Sunday, which means next week's stream is an hour earlier, I think. We changed the clocks from plus 11 to plus, uh, oh no, it's an hour later. We changed the clocks from plus 11 to plus 10. Uh, so that means that whatever time you're used to, it's an hour. What? I'm, it's right here. Uh, oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. So yeah, so next week's stream is an hour later because we changed the clocks back an hour and I'm going to stream at 8.30 p.m. that time. So, uh, if you think I start the streams... Okay. If you think I start the streams too early, now's your, your half of the year where the streams are a bit more on time. Um, so yeah, just look up what 8.30 p.m. Uh, is uh, Sydney time and you'll see what it is. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that's this weekend. Yeah, here we go again. Harry Potter, the youngest seeker in the history of Hogwarts, had. I feel like Quidditch has this problem where yes, you can just end it in a heartbeat. Hi. Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. Thanks. Something is troubling me, Harry. Why? Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. This looks like an ominous thing to do. Just standing there. Okay. But I think now is a perfect point to end the stream. We've got 15 other cards. Way too many of the beans. Look at all these cards I've gotten. Can you tell which ones you've missed? Or is it like they're all just in order? Because if so, then I... Oh, look at this Slytherin guy. Amazing. But, uh... Yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty confident about... Uh, I will live in the future. I hope. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how we go. Uh, but until then, I would like to thank you so very, very, very much for watching. Um, lots of people watching today. So everyone, big round of applause. You guys are absolutely great fun to hang out with, to chat with, to um, help me out if I miss stuff in Harry Potter. Um, so yeah, if you, if you enjoyed this and you are not a follower, you can just follow where you will get the stream notification that I'm streaming. I also post a message on Twitter and, uh, Fediverse about, uh, when I stream. Uh, I don't give much notice, so yeah. If you miss any part of this, it'll be on YouTube in like 15 hours. So that's usually the rate we're going for. And if you're on YouTube, you can subscribe there. Uh, also shout out, um, to one guy on uh youtube um let's see if i can get his name quick oh there's a guy uh abraham gamer thanks for commenting on the last stream so damn underrated so glad you still upload here because i don't use twitch i appreciate you and you don't have to follow me everywhere but yeah i appreciate you know everyone for tuning in for hanging out it's all good stuff so stay safe eat your greens don't stay up too late I'll see you all next week. Have a good one.